My God in heaven, Brad. <laughs> What is good, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new My Damn Halls episode. Sort of a classic here, man. I don't think we have done a My Damn Halls episode here on the channel in the arena in a very long time. You guys can see by all of the ish that we have today in this specific My Damn Halls episode, filled up our entire arena right here. Typically, it's over here in the filming area, but we ran out of room. There's no way I could possibly fit anything over here. So we're over here in the arena, man. Lots of stuff to go through. Sort of a classic My Damn Halls episode here. Lots of figures that I've picked up over the last couple weeks, some things that came in the mail, and then we have this box of stuff that I cannot wait to open. So I'll explain the situation a little bit. There's two random packages that came in. This one that has a bunch of stuff in it, and then I got another box that we'll get into that showcases everything, but I wanted to showcase everything, so because I had to move everything to the backstage area, this is going to be a little bit different than our typical My Damn Halts episodes, but I feel like today's going to be a crazy one, man, so let's shut the hell up and dive into this My Damn Halts episode and showcase everything that I picked up over the last couple weeks. If you guys are unaware, my Damn Halls is a episodic series here on the channel where I showcase my pickups for the week or the last couple of weeks. Just, just kind of depends on what all comes in the mail, but let's shut the hell up and get into it. So the first thing you'll probably notice in the background here is going to be the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring. Now, this one specifically, I'm going to leave in the box. So if anybody ordered this and only wanted the ring, I know it's a long shot, but if anybody ordered the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring with the Ultimate Edition Kane figure, I am only looking for the Kane figure. I would like to have the Kane figure figure by itself, loose, not mint on card. I thought of it, this is how insane I am, I thought about getting an edition where it's just mint on card in the packaging to have, and then I thought about getting one in the box here, Attitude Era Ring Ultimate Edition Shipper, and then I thought about having the figure loose anyway. I want to add that to my cane collection. Got the cane collection over here. It's missing a couple in my collection. This isn't my full cane, but that's a lot of my canes there. I actually believe that the cane Ultimate Edition is one of the best Ultimate Editions they've ever done, but I need that cane Ultimate Edition, so if you guys want to make a deal, hit me up. Nonetheless, we did grab the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring. Want to open it so badly, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to have some discipline, not open that up and uh, see if, if we can make a deal. I guess if I could make a deal, I'll pick this up at a later date possibly. I just don't know what it's going to run for and maybe somebody just wanted the ring and not the cane and they'd sell me the cane or trade me the cane. You get the point. Alright, the first pickup that we're going to cover today is just this RBD autographed Elite 91 figure. I showcased this in my toy hunt from San Antonio, Texas where I went to the Royal Rumble and I know you guys, most of you already saw it, but I wanted to recap it again and show it because it's so beautiful. So I was really happy with this pickup. And then another pickup that we did get was the AEW Unrivaled Series 5, one of 5,000 Chase John Moxley figure in the camo pants. Picked this up from the wrestling shop. If you guys missed our toy hunt from San Antonio, Texas, where we went to the wrestling shop, definitely go check that out on the channel. It was our upload from a couple days ago, the insane WWE action figure toy hunt, and of course AEW, but I was really excited to grab this. I'm going to put this in a defender and put it up on the wall. Now, outside of that, I'm going to move these figures over here, and I'm going to play place them over here because I want to showcase all these figures. Now, if you guys were unaware, Target was doing a crazy sale on their website, so I went ahead and used that time to pick up a lot of holes in the collection. And by holes, I just mean figure fodder for fix-ups and action figure surgery. So I did pick up an extra Mr. T Ultimate Edition. Got this for 20 bucks, and this figure is so damn good. I think it was like the number four Ultimate Edition of 2022 for me. I could be wrong about that. I'm trying to remember off the top of my dome, but it was a great Ultimate Edition. Comes with great accessories, and uh, who doesn't need parts for, for Mr. T. This is great. I, I like this figure a lot. And then they also had other deals going on. If you go to your targets, they had Royal Rumble Elites for 11 bucks. So I went ahead and, you know, if it, I pass, I try not to pass up on deals. And after the debacle this year with the Ringside Collectibles, Cyber Monday, and Black Friday sales, not cashing in on those, I couldn't let that pass up at Target, man. So for 11 bucks, I went ahead and grabbed an extra Rey Mysterio. And the same thing went for the Legends figure. So I did grab some extra Elites. I got the AJ Styles, and I did also grab a Shawn Michaels. So I was really excited for this, man. I mean, this is basically the ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels, but for $11 with a slight deco change. Double jointed arms, zebra gear, got to cash in on it, and he's got white pants. Had to definitely cash in on those elites right there. So we did grab those from the Target sale. And then you guys will notice over here, we also got some more figures. So I also picked up a Bradshaw. I'm thinking I grabbed this for not only the tag championship and not only the future Bradshaw head sculpt, I can use these arms for Eric Rowan and Luke 
Harper in the pick fed for double jointed arms, and maybe we'll see that on extra figure surgery. So I did grab a couple double jointed arm Bradshaw figures for that exact reason, and then we do have extra fodder here. We got AJ Styles for some future fix-ups. We got another Rey Mysterio from One Night Stand. Got the World Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful entrance jacket cloak, and we also have great parts here for future Rey Mysterios or other things we want to do. Picked up another Shawn Michaels, because why the hell not? Gotta love the showstopper. And then I also found Elite Series 95 John Cena when I went to get my brand new tattoo. I think it was like last Wednesday or whatever before I flew out to San Antonio. I did have to go to Atlanta to visit my boy Theo for a tattoo, and I ran into a Target, and I did grab this John Cena while I was there. Unfortunately, they did not have a Jimmy Uso or Eddie Guerrero chase, so I only grabbed the John Cena, but you guys know the ever-growing John Cena collection. You gotta grab one of those. So now it's all about this box, man, and I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm gonna be real with you. I took a peek inside. I did not look at everything in here, but by what the hell I saw when I first opened it, I am mind blown already, and I cannot believe how insane you guys are out there. So before getting into it, man, MDT fans, the MDT Nation, my damn nation, my damn maniacs out there, best fans in the world, best supporters of the channel in the entire world. And shout out to my man Giovanni, and I'll put up his socials up on the screen, and I will put a link to his channels in the description below. He not only sent me this box of goodies, but he also sent over a Men on Card Street Fighter Kenny GameStop exclusive figure. Kenny Omega as Akuma, beautiful looking figure, did not have this Men on Card, did have one loose, so I will be keeping this one Men on Card, putting it into Defender, was missing this one Men on Card from the AEW figure collection, so I do appreciate that, man. Huge shout out to Giovanni for the donations to the collection here. And not only did he send over the Street Fighter Kenny Omega and this big box, but he also donated an Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior Series 15 figure. And this is unbelievable, man. So Just so gracious for it. Thank you so much to Giovanni. And we haven't even gotten to this massive box right here. So with those things being said, man, let's set this camera up and let's open this box up so that we can take a look at what Giovanni sent over to us. I'm probably going to have to change angles, but just for a little peek again. My God in heaven, Brad. All right, man, so one of the first figures that's in here is he sent over a mint on card entrance greats Jeff Hardy. And when it's all said and done, man, this may actually be one of my favorite Mattel at least they've ever done. What a beautiful looking figure. I remember when this figure first dropped. I absolutely love this figure. I don't know if I'll keep it mint on card or not. Beautiful entrance greats Jeff Hardy, bro. What a beautiful figure. Man, I, I am just speechless right now. Can't believe he sent over an entrance greats Jeff Hardy. I mean, what are we doing here, man? So that took up a pretty big portion of the right side of the box, but there is a lot more in here, man. I honestly am just speechless right now, and I don't know what to say. So what else we got in here? It looks like we got a little baggie full of accessories. You guys can see there. You got some interchangeable hands. Got an Usos hat, which is always great, and that lets me know that we probably have some figures in here based on these accessories alone, but let's take out the first figure here, and sweet, merciful Jesus in heaven. This is an Elite Series 2 Matt Hardy, a figure that I have never on before. This is an actual, this is a very rare figure, man. You don't see this figure every single day. I mean, this is when Matt Hardy was rocking the tights. He's got the key on there, the Matt Hardy logo. Unbelievable, man. What an underrated figure, too. So we have Elite Series 2 Matt Hardy. I mean, dude, you've already done enough, bro. You've already done enough. What else we have here? An entire bag full of cloth goods. What in the hell do we have in here, bro? I see custom shirts. And this looks like... I know PWR Lucha when I see it, man. If you guys want some high-quality custom cloth goods, you gotta go to PWR Lucha, man. Look at this right here. A sleeveless Bloodline shirt, and it's no Velcro. This is all stretchy material, you guys can see. And it has white on the inside, so it does not stain the figure. A We The Ones Bloodline shirt. We have a Bullet Club muscle tee here with a logo on the back. Again, no Velcro on these, man. They're the straight-up beautiful quality right here. Stone Cold University shirt from the Attitude Era Elite Stone Cold. My God. We have the We The Ones Usos and Bloodline shirt. It is the muscle tee. Beautiful shirt there. We have the black t-shirt We The Ones. Again, no Velcro on here, man. And they fit like a glove. These shirts are going to fit the figures well. If you guys don't know who PWR Lucha is, hit him, up on, hit him up on Instagram. Tell him MDT sent you. He does fantastic work, as you guys can see here. I mean, this is uh, this is unbelievable, man. We haven't even gotten uh, more figures in the thing, and I'm, all right, I'm, I'm just speechless over here, bro. Like, what? I can't even accept this. I can't accept this. And it just keeps going. It just keeps going. We have more. More sleeveless shirts. You have the We The Ones Usos Bloodline shirt again. My God, we have the white version now in the muscle tee or the tank top. We The Ones on the back. Another Bullet Club muscle tee. Another Bullet Club muscle tee. Got the whole faction set up in here. Another Bloodline muscle tee. 
Defining Moments WWE Elite John Cena jersey. Even though it's not accurate, you know, they had to do what they had to do. Actually, well made, especially for being that early in my tail. A Sami Zayn honorary ooh shirt. What a moment in time. I mean, dude, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What else do we have in here? Brian Danielson shirt in the white color. This, I bet this would look brilliant on the Unmatched Series 5 figure. I bet it would look beautiful. A red bloodline muscle tee. Another bullet club muscle tee. Another white bloodline muscle tee. Jesus Christ. Another red bloodline muscle tee or tank top. I don't ever call it a muscle tee. I don't know why the hell I'm calling it that, but we also have an Elite 90 J Uso t-shirt. I'm gonna get them on there. Got the fringe at the bottom. One of the best Mattel shirts I've ever done, especially with that, that fringe. I mean, we could cut it off right now and it'd be unbelievable. We could have done that after the Kenny Omega. We could have done that after the Ultimate Warrior. The entrance grace Jeff Hardy. Giovanni, you're unbelievable, sir. You are unbelievable. I, I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you doesn't even come close to it, and I see more stuff in here that's going to make me lose my mind. We have a WWE Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns figure with not only just the figure itself, man, he is wearing the Ultimate Edition Bloodline shirt with the Roman Reigns Bloodline track jacket and matching jogging pants. And this is the Ultimate Edition. You guys can see here, this is not a basic figure. This is the Ultimate Edition. I can feel the articulation. I can feel the butterfly joints. Holy shish, bro. And look how beautiful these clothes are, man. That's PWR Lucha again, dude. The track jacket for the track tribal chief and we keep going oh my god man he has the matching usos to go with it here i mean technically kind of like two j elites yeah you know with the head debacle but matching bloodline with their bloodline joggers their shoes they got the muscle tees on they have their tank tops on to match the tribal chief i'm like shaking over here bro what in the hell do we have here a braun Strowman in street attire look at this like where did you get this jacket dude i think this is a jacket from probably like GPS lot on eBay. They make really quality cloth goods. This jacket, he's got the white tank top and the blue jeans, all cloth goods. I imagine this is an Elite 87 Braun Strowman. Look at the cloth goods, dude. Look at these cloth goods. Fantastic. What else? We have a, you just made the list, not only GameStop, but also I think it was a Ringside exclusive and GameStop exclusive. You just made the list Chris Jericho Elite. One of my favorite Chris Jericho Elites they ever made. Probably my favorite. No, it's not my favorite. The Defining Moments is my favorite, but this one is also beautiful. I remember when this one dropped. The gear was perfect. The packaging was perfect. The head sculpt was perfect. An iconic elite, I would say. Only thing missing is the tattoos, but my God. We have a custom, or I guess custom clothes. We have the Rob Van Dam, Seth Rollins, not only entrance vest, but the tights that PWR Lucha made that you can put over your elite. So it looks like this is an Elite 86 Rollins with the Rob Van Dam custom clothes over it dude i can't like what i'm just i'll i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm just gonna leave i'll i'll just leave it recording for for the rest of the time i'm dumbfounded I mean, guys, what are we doing over here? Not only do we have the Roman Reigns in the red Bloodline track jacket, we have a Roman Reigns Elite. I don't think this is the Ultimate Edition. He does have the pivot on the toes. The white track jacket suit with the man bun head sculpt for the Roman Reigns. Holy shit balls! I mean, that's all I can say. That's all I can say here. Giovanni, I'm going to have to check myself into a mental hospital because of you. What else? Chicago Bulls Seth Rollins gear. Never got this from Mattel. We got it in basic form, but who cares about that? Look at this elite. I mean, it just goes to show, like, PWR Lucha can literally make a full figure in cloth goods like Mezco out here. I think this is the Elite 64 Rollins with the cost, the custom goods on there. Unbelievable. And it just keeps going. There's more figures in the box. We have an Elite Daniel Bryan and we have multiple. We have the Elite 19 here. A lot of people used to use this head sculpt for a Kenny Omega. And we have the Elite 68 Daniel Bryan. The Seattle Seahawks inspired gear with the shirt. Had this figure multiple times in the collection. I've actually owned all three of these at one point, but ended up making customs or, or trading them or doing other things, man. I'm just speechless, bro. I'm just speechless. Uh... We have an Elite 66 Kurt Angle. Underrated figure, man. I always loved this figure. This gear was sick. We saw the interchangeable hands at the beginning of the unboxing. I love the sculpts on this guy. Hopefully, we can get some more Kurt Angles, man. Hopefully, I'd like to see an Ultimate Edition throwback Kurt Angle. They give us a 2001 Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. I'm going to have to retire immediately because I'm going to spend all of my money on that one figure. Next up. 
Okay. 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 This is a bunch of CM Punk elites, bro. Elite 29 CM Punk with the hoodie. The Mutton Chop CM Punk. We have the Elite 20 CM Punk in here. White elbow pad. Beautiful looking figure, man. The Chicago Cubs style gear. Just chef's kiss. The best of pay-per-view figure, which I have never owned before. This is one I've never owned. I've, I've owned these two in the past before. But the best of pay-per-view CM Punk Elite in the green, black, and red. And then one of my favorite punks of all time is the Elite 11. Last time I owned this figure, I turned it into his Money in the Bank cash-in gear. Or maybe it was just his Money in the Bank win. Can't remember off the top of my dome, but I customized it, and then I ended up trading it, I think. Four CM Punk Elites in this unboxing, and there's more. I know for a fact that's not an Elite Six Shad over there in the corner. I know for a fact that's not what that is. Oh, no. Bitch! We have the Defining Moments, Ultimate Maniacs, Ultimate Warrior. Unbelievable. Owned this at one point. And then I sold it when I sold off all of my legends. I sold off, it was like maybe five years ago, maybe six years ago. I took all of my legends into, I think it was to kickstart a different collection. I sold like a bunch of my legends, man. It's like guys that I didn't necessarily have a big attachment to. And this was one of the figures that I sold. And now he comes back for me in my sleep. The Ultimate Maniacs, Ultimate Warrior, bro. Unbelievable. Elite Six. Shad from Crime Time with the jersey. Something you do not see and rest in peace to Shad, a true hero and somebody we should all strive to be like, man. What a beautiful figure with the Tims, the jeans, and the jersey. I have zero words. Is it, I mean, is there a trillion dollars at the bottom of the box too, Giovanni? Holy shish. And I apologize for just all the randomness and the craziness, man, but I don't even know what to say. I am speechless at what we've just witnessed. I'm speechless. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much to Giovanni Parga. Huge shout out to him, man. He's got a gaming channel or a gaming page on Instagram, man. Just as a thank you, man, please go go give this man a follow or a like or or something, man, or just an acknowledgement, man, because this is un... I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I, 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 I can't... I don't even want to accept this. An unbelievable unboxing here today has unfolded on the MDT YouTube channel. An unforgettable episode of My Damn Halls, man. Look at all of this carnage. Look at these figures. I mean, these, these are pieces that I will never forget. Giovanni, you are a true legend, man. Thank you so very much for the unbelievably kind unboxing here today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Just the sheer insanity that just unfolded here today. Check out PWR Lucha. Check out Giovanni. Thank you so much, bro. That is going to pretty much wrap up this My Name Halls episode. I think I'm going to have to go. I don't, I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to just go sit on my roof for about six hours. But I love you guys so very much, man. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so very much for the continued support on the channel. It means everything to me, man. I love you guys so very much. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below hope you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video i'll see you next time we'll never